The government has recognized ICTs as a key driver for innovation, economic growth, and prosperity within the microeconomic blueprint, the ZEM asset. ICTs are dramatically changing our way of life and are increasingly becoming the key drivers of, for social economic development worldwide. A nation's capability and ability to accelerate its social economic development process and gain competitive advantage depends very much on the extent to which it can develop, use and sell information, knowledge and technology in one form or other. There is now a consensus in what is increasingly becoming a highly competitive information driven world economy that development without ICTs is not possible. This is demonstrated by the high levels of mobile and internet penetration in the country. For ICTs to indeed contribute towards accelerated development, it is important that the government, industry, development practitioners, and other stakeholders jointly and collectively reflect on the nexus between new technologies and development. It is also important they collaborate within a framework that allows them to work together, bringing on board their comparative strength to tap into the ICTs for development. The recent launch of the National ICT4D Policy and Practice Platform in Zimbabwe is therefore a demonstration of the commitment by stakeholders in the country to advance this partnership. UNDP recognizes the potential that ICTs have in enabling the attainment of development and reducing poverty levels. It needs to be something that enables that collaboration and when you're still thinking about um, uh, investment into the sector, then the question is um, how, how secure is my investment or how secure is my need and so on and so forth. Because I think that discussion has now, has now begun and ultimately, I mean, we hope it takes a life of its own, but I think the discussion on a, on a triple P framework that governs um, entry points for, for collaboration, particularly when you take it beyond personal networks, and now you start thinking of institutional partnerships and those questions come up. It perceives technologies as vehicles for creating employment, especially among the youth, delivering services, catalyzing economic growth, facilitating the ease of doing business and accelerating the overall attainment of MDGs as well as influencing the post-2015 dialogue session. In Zimbabwe, social innovators and social entrepreneurs are developing solutions that respond to the needs of local communities. They have the trust of local populations and can effectively deliver, including applications on health, education, agriculture, gender-based violence, among many others. Tech and innovation hubs, as well as technology institutions, are playing a critical role in sustaining social innovation and business incubation in the country. We created a mobile application okay. um, called VP, which means um, we are in So it specializes on trying to other items in your house. Oh, it tracks your house. If your son or daughter disappears to another house, you can trace her. Yes. How do you do that? So, this is, we went to the GP. This is another feature. feature. Okay. So, you go to my location. Okay. Before, we attract a child called Tawanda. Okay. So, right now, you can see his current location. It was served to the fusion tables. Okay. And now, you can see the current location and where he is and all. Okay. We also have another one. But how did you how did you manage to do that? Which grade are you in? Fifth grade. My God, <laughs> so, you're going to take over from Bill Gates. <laughs> yes. So here. Yeah. How did you how did you how did you uh, work on this? I'm curious. We got help from our mentors here. Oh, here is the masters. Yes. We used App Inventor to create the application. Okay. We also use GPS okay. to track out the children and all that. And we used the blocks and we were putting them together. It was actually difficult at first, but then we realized, ah, we've got so, so much help and we've gotten here so far. Communication ecosystems such as online portals, Facebook, Twitter, blogs and other social media tools have also influenced in a great way the manner and speed at which information and knowledge is exchanged, transferred and shared. 
It is vital to note that innovation does not stem exclusively from technological breakthroughs. It often comes from the ability to combine existing technology in unprecedented ways to address problems old and new. This is the kind of technological marriage that facilitates young people to gain access to skills, competencies, and information for increased employment, farmers across Zimbabwe to get access to the latest market prices and farming tips, or to access microcredit and microinsurance at their fingertips. As UNDP Zimbabwe, we perceive our role as that of a convener and driver of innovation for development. By providing technical and facilitative support, we are able to link innovators to investment brokers and capital and market. Through seed funding initiatives, we are able to absorb the costs and manage risks of failure, which enables and drives innovations for development. Mm -hmm.